Yeah, here we are, another Friday, and we're uh, working on the TR7. So, spent most of the week working on this thing here. I'll just sort of give you the, that's the uh, front, yeah, there, that's the front subframe. And then uh, lots of, lots of picky welding on this one. To put it all back together the way it should be, but it's starting to look pretty good and starting to look like it's uh, good enough to be in service. So, anyhow, the uh, that's a few parts came along. I, they're piled up over on the dash over there. There's a new uh, that little brown box has got a new slave cylinder for the uh, clutch assembly. Those two blue boxes are. Uh, for what are they rebuild kits for the carburetors don't know if they're right or not but we'll find out then that uh sort of a black box there is uh the one that's right hidden kind of that's electronic ignition so we'll get all that into it once i get the motor and stuff sorted out i'm waiting for waiting for parts of course waiting for parts always waiting for parts i think i i think i ordered a bunch of uh rubbers and bushings and stuff like that and I'd, and the kits for the uh hmm, what do you call that upper and lower gasket kits for the motor so it'll come with uh, actually it comes with a head gasket and a valve cover gasket and all the gaskets needed for the intake and exhaust manifold and the oil pan gasket so once i get them then I'll take it apart and I'll figure out if I need to get uh, bushings for it or not. And if I do, I'll just pull the head off and sort of do it in there. We'll see what goes on. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed it this week. Stick around and see what I've done. Mostly it's a pretty quiet week working on that thing there. Bye for now. Yeah, there once again, not the prettiest welding in the world, but... It'll be alright because it'll be inside, you won't see it. Anyhow, those are the two risers done, which I thought would be the hardest part of this, and it likely is. The next thing I'll do is I'll see if I can fill in this gap here. I need to put a side piece up here and a side piece up there, and then uh, I'll put a cover over it. Yeah, so now I've got that. This is sort of cut out to fit in there, still needs some fitting, but this, how do you make that thing, eh? You just go on the, what I did was I lined it up and had it cranked down to there with a pair of vice grips holding it steady, turned it over and I put a dab of paint on the back side of the bolt and then ran the bolt through to here, and there was a piece of paint there, so I drilled a little hole. The little hole was only an eighth of an inch when I started, but, you know, they get bigger when you stretch stuff. So then you have a piece of pipe like that. Set that thing in there. Wait a, wait a minute till I get my hammer. Where's the hammer? Oh, hammer disappeared. There it is. Ball peen hammer. So you put the metal in between here and the, the metal and hold it on there and then you just bang, 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 bang until it makes that nice little round indentation. Now, it's not as nice as the original one, but I think it's pretty good for what I want. Now, I'm going to put a little piece of a, a washer underneath here just to give that some strength. I'll put a weld there and a weld there and just hold that together. Yeah, so there you go. That's one patch done. If I tried to do the whole thing at once, it would all be, it'd be a mess. So I'll just do a, this chunk here, do it upright. Then I'll do this chunk next. Then I'll work on that part, or this part here next, anyhow. But that looks back to normal. I have to fill a couple of holes in here. There's a hole there. This is just where it didn't uh, didn't line up quite as well as it could have. But I can just put a piece of metal in there and then weld it on there. And that'll work. Then it'll be all one piece, and that'll be strong. Like that's. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, there's the uh, 
first arm pretty near done. This stuff here is thick enough that I can uh, like attack weld the edges and then I'm able to run a bead along the seams. Same thing here, I run a bead along there and then I ran a bead along here and ran a bead around all this stuff here. I noticed that when I was checking it out earlier I thought that was solid but I guess I'll have to do a little bit of cutting in there and make that a bit better. Hmm, there you go. I think it's good around the edges, just that middle bit. I'll check it out with a I'll, with a grinding thing. And then on to the next one. The next one will be this bit here, maybe. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe I'll do this bit here next. I'll do something, that's for sure. Yeah, there it is. That's the uh, that side done to the middle there. Now I'll start working on the next side or somewhere. I've got some reinforcing to do down in here and some reinforcing to do in here. Maybe I'll just, and I got to reinforce that one right there too. So maybe I'll start with this end and then uh, work towards the middle. Yeah, so now I was going to do this, but this is all pretty wobbly, so I think I'll get some structure built into here so that it'll hold that up, and then I'll do this so I can pound on that if I need to. Anyway, that'll be the plan. Do this thing here, do that thing there, do the stuff in the middle first. Well, there's some pretty ugly welding, but I think it'll hold together all right. It's uh, these two things in here and the centerpiece, that'll all get covered over. So you guys are the last guys that'll ever see that, I hope. Yeah, just more welding on this thing here. We're getting there. It's going to be, uh, well, it might look, by the end of tomorrow, it might look all right. This part here needs some cleaning up, but that's all new in there now and solid and hot. Yeah, there we go. I got the two sidewalls in now. And underneath here, you can, yeah, you can see that. That was all missing before, now it's gone in there. There's still a little bit of sidewall over here to do, but I'm going to leave that for a bit. I'll do, I'll fill in this bit down here, then I'll fill in this bit over here, and then I'll do that bit over there. Most of the uh, honeycomb stuff is done. It doesn't, it doesn't look really pretty, but once it's covered over, nobody will ever see it, and it's solid. So, there you go. Yeah, here I'm back at it again today. So I've got the, as you've seen before, I've got this side done. I've got the side panels put in here and the side panel put in here. Now I'm going to build this bit here and put it on. Then I'll tackle this bit. Well, then I think I'll do a bit to about here. Well, where am I? Then I think I'll do a bit to about here and fix up this in here a bit. So, we'll carry on. I guess i got to do a bit of a weld right here for that bit of cross brace that never got finished yet. That's next then. Yeah, there's the uh, piece there ready to go in. I'll weld it in that spot there. Now, the bolt holes come through here and here. I'm, I was able to I just put a dab of paint on the bolt and put the metal on there and pushed it up and then made a center mark. Then I go and uh, take my ball peen hammer and put it on a, can you see that? There's a piece of pipe there. So I take the ball peen hammer and put it on the pipe. That was balanced there a second ago. And then with the ball peen hammer you go bang, bang, bang. And that makes that divot in it. And <clears throat> then if it gets too deep you just turn it around upside down and pound it on the back and that'll flatten it out and you want to flatten it out a bit anyhow so that a bolt will fit on there and a washer and all that kind of stuff makes it so it comes up tight against that bit there and tight against that bit there anyway there you go yeah here it is next bit done I'll just keep building out so now I've got that side done over there and that's all looking pretty good 
And now I'll just build up on this side here. I got the little bit of a circle done in here. And then these two things, I got to drill those holes out so that they fit the uh, bolts that have to go through there. I'll do that next. And I did something up here. Yeah, yeah, I fixed that right there. And then I put a bunch of paint inside there so that uh, hopefully it'll inhibit a little bit of the rust. But we'll just carry on. I'll leave a couple of holes in it and I'm going to be able to uh, put some rust protection in there. Just spread it around. Yeah, Tony's not happy with me today because it's been raining out, haven't you? Been out in the rain. What do you do about that, eh? What do you do about that? They're all wet. Yeah, there we go. That's all for today. I have to quit early today. I got, got to go to dinner. So, we'll see if I can get this mostly done. Well, see how it goes. Might get some more done tomorrow. Be a pretty slow week in movie land this week, anyhow. Yeah, here I am again. It's Friday, and it's a pretty slow moving week, but anybody that really wants to know how long does it take to put one of these things together after you after you get the Bergen little car off the internet, then try starting to starting to fix it up and make it so it's a good car. It takes a little while. So this week, like last week, we had a little bit of an epic um, epic uh, YouTube, but that was lots and lots of stuff happened just trying to get the car running, and you can get decent footage there for that. But this week, I've just been working all week long on this one piece here. So, slowly taking it apart and putting it all back together. Today is Friday. I might get this part here installed this today. Then maybe tomorrow, if I get a chance to work on it, I'll get that part done. So, I might have it done by, you know, by tomorrow sometime. But for today... It'll be a little bit past here, but it won't be all complete yet. And then I still have to wait for all the the rubber bits to show up. I've ordered the rubber bits. Some parts showed up here today. There's rebuild kits for the carburetor. I don't know if they're right or wrong. The uh, slave cylinder for the clutch is there. The uh, master cylinder is on, well, it's not even on back order. This thing here is the, uh, a flexible hose to for the clutch hose. And so maybe when I pull out the, when I finish up the, hmm, yes, when I finish up on that thing there, I'll just pull this master, master cylinder for the clutch out of here and just see what's going on. This thing here, there's nothing wrong with the master cylinder except that I broke the top off it, so I've got to figure out what to do about that. Hmm. Anyway, I'll carry on. Yeah, there you go. It's coming along, this one. So I've decided to go like halfway around this thing here. And then the next piece I'll put in will be this chunk here. And join them together here. It makes it easier to cut that hole for this thing out. Now, that being said, I've just run out of wire on this thing. Yeah, that's uh, about well, however long I've been working on this thing. So this comes off and I'll put a new roll of wire on there and then load it into the gun and away I go again. Yeah, so now you just load it onto the reel and put it through this this part here and then it goes down into the uh, way, way around into the wand. So you put that on to the right tension and the tension is uh, not enough tension to pull too tight that it'll wrap, bind up inside, but enough tension so that it'll go through. There's a way to test it. It just gives you the instructions. I'll go over that in a minute. Then you just press the trigger and wait for it to come through the end here. It'll take a few a couple of minutes. Yeah, it should come through here any second now. I kind of heard it rumbling or felt it rumbling down the thing. Well, any second is... takes a while sometimes for any second to happen, right? Oh, it looks like it's jammed. So it's right there. 
but I can't get through the hole, so I'll have to clean out that hole there. Eh, anyway, well, that's enough. Yeah, there it's through now, so we can go back to welding. Now, to get it set up right, you just, uh, well, first I'll clip off the end of this thing. I'll just stop this. So now, to get it set up right, it shouldn't have enough tension on it so that it'll curl when I, here I am, I'm pointing the wrong place. It shouldn't have enough tension that it'll curl when it hits the pavement here. Well, it hasn't got enough tension to push it through there, so I think I need to get a cleaner end. Hmm. Give it a bit more tension. There it's going now. So, clip again. It shouldn't have enough tension to push against that, right? But it should have enough tension to glance at it. Pretty close, but not quite. A little bit more tension than that. I think that's about right there. Well, if you get too much tension into it, it'll uh, curl up inside here on you, and then you got a problem. Feels right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, so there it turns. It keeps turning there, but if you put direct pressure on it, stops so that's pretty good anyway there we go see there it stops so I've, I've got it on the floor pointing down and it doesn't go and it goes there that's pretty good for pressure anyway that's loading it up and that much wire it took about six months to go through that I started last November and it's August now so six or seven months worth of wire there depending on how much you're using they go through lots of gas. Yeah, now it's uh, time to put this wall in here, and I'll fill in the center. So I'm getting pretty close to being done with this thing, which is all right. I was able to make the divot in here, and I made the divot in there, and then those two are smaller divots over there. And this piece here was uh, weak, so I have to cut it out and put in a new piece. And then in there, well, you can't even see it inside there. Way in there, yep. You can see that uh, I put a cross piece in there. Anyway, I'll keep on a go. Yeah, yeah, time to close it down for this week. There's uh, that one welded in there, that wall. So this is done, this is done. Got to fill in that. And then it's pretty well ready to put back into service. I'll give it a good whack test and maybe do a little bit more welding if I miss a couple of spots. But for the most part, it's all right. And now that kind of wraps up this week. I hope to see you. Hope to see you next week. I'll do some more of this. There'll be a little bit shorter one tonight, but that's okay. That's all for this week. See you next week. Bye for now.